Okay, okay, hold on. Oh. All right, here we go, ladies. Get in. <laughs> Synchronize, Lizzie. Synchronize. Uh, take two. I'm getting in the car. Hello, girlies, and Look. welcome back to another episode of The Sip with Babyface Ryland Adams, <laughs> and of course, Lizzie Gordon, Elizabeth Homo Care. Yes. Who's ready for summer, not fall? Yeah. Did you not get the memo? It's fucking fall. <laughs> what do you say? I'm saying? so sick of I'm this. A long I'm so shirt. sick. What? Are you kidding me? No, What's are going? you kidding me? Oh, no. Are you kidding are me? Are you kidding me? No, and you know what? I am offended because fall is starting way too fucking early. And you know what? Because I have nothing to do on this podcast, I have to succumb to these people. And I have to try the fall menu items. <laughs> no, we're excited to try the fall menu items. I mean, we're excited to and try you it. you because right now, in this present moment, it is still summer. We're still in August, you crazy bitch. And Just I... because this airs in September doesn't mean we're already in fall. It's and... 100 million degrees outside. You know what? This is all Dutch Brothers' fault. And because... Because there isn't a Dutch Brothers close to us, we can't go try their pumpkin things, but they posted a poll on their Instagram and they said, are you guys ready for summer to be over or we, do you want it to be summer forever? And like 85% of people were like, we're ready for fall. Wow. Then what? they had a bad summer and that's just sad. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Our thoughts and prayers are with those of you that had a rotten summer. <laughs> Why would you want it to Sending end? light and love your way. I'm just sitting here praying that they're going to pass whatever law it is where they don't fall Change back. Change the time. <laughs> yeah. Because Didn't they already? I'm... Uh, Am I an idiot? I don't know. I refuse to accept it. Anyway, <laughs> it's not part of my life. Okay, well, what, wow. Can you believe what I look like right now? No, it's awful. It's to as, be honest, no. I really hate it. Ah! I, really, I know. I saw somebody say, oh, beards are the men's version of... There were... Because I always do, like, the before and after on Instagram. Before I shave, when I'm still feeling like a good person. Yeah. And then after, when I feel like I shouldn't be around anyone because I might, like, murder someone. You're a beautiful boy. And you look better with a little bit of facial hair. I uh, I agree. And yeah. I told Shane, and I tell him every time, I was like, if you make me shave, you're going to ruin a week of my life because yeah. I don't feel confident to go anywhere. I don't want to work out. <laughs> I don't do, want to work. You look better than usual when you shave right now. You know, I think it is because this doesn't get sun. So I've been laying out by the pool ever oh, since I shaved. So I'm trying to even tone. Even tone. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's helping. Let me just make sure we're in the right setting. The in and out one was a nightmare. <laughs> Are we in the right setting? Yeah. Okay, good. I, I believe we are. Great. Um, so I didn't want to do the basic ass, ass bitch thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? what is going on? This is like my 80th podcast in two days. I know, but you're acting like you're not excited, but you're acting excited. Oh, well, I am kind of excited. Yeah, you're living for because this. Because I didn't want to do the basic ass bitch thing and just go to Starbucks and get the pumpkin spice latte we've had a million times, although some of their new menu items do look really good. So what are we doing? We're going to go. I hope this isn't underwhelming for you. <laughs> you will spit it out. Okay, we're gonna go try the pumpkin spice combo at IHOP. What? They have pumpkin spice pancakes. How do they we have do their that? own. We're going inside of IHOP. No, you're gonna call on the way there, and we're oh. gonna order a pickup order. No. <laughs> oh no! And I was thinking, for old times' sake, we could call out of another job sick. No, I'm, I don't. Can you? Do you remember the backlash from the last oh one? Oh my gosh! Get a life, everyone. There was a backlash. People were just saying it's insensitive to the people that but work if there. But Chris made the call, I bet there'd be no backlash, and everybody would think it was really. But funny. here's: I worked at the Gap. I worked at restaurants for years. If somebody provided me entertainment like that, I'd be living, and I'd, I'd talk living. about it for the entire day. Be like, this is so funny. And the majority of people thought it was like, lol, funny. <laughs> Is my window okay? No. <laughs> I've never been okay, Chris. I'm sorry. I didn't even know there were IHOPs in California. And you know what dessert's gonna be? What? You're yawning. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, you what? what? You have all the You're energy. Yawning? You suck the energy from the car. What do you want from me? Now I'm the monster. <laughs> No, I'll still be the monster. Don't okay, worry. this is the creme de la creme of desserts, and I had never known of this is this, this is existence. Mm -hmm. There is. A pumpkin blizzard at Dairy Queen. Oh, do we have Dairy Queens out here? Yeah, we do. That's what I said. I'm like, we have. Ah! Ah! I wasn't even distracted. Okay, we'll come back when we get there. I've, okay. Every time I leave your house, I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, it is. People do race up and down this road. It's <laughs> wild what they do. We do have to cut the camera for safety. Um, but oh, those what? Krispy Kremes look so good too. Even though <gasps> we just did Krispy Kreme. Pumpkin well, Krispy Kreme? They're... These Krispy Kremes could redeem the Krispy Kreme because that was a horrible Krispy Kreme experience. Okay, well, let's deliberate and we'll be back. <laughs> okay, we'll pretend this didn't just happen, but I'm sitting here. No, don't preface uh, it. Just get back <laughs> into okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Back to one. <clears throat> oh, 
somebody's riding my ass. I'm working! I'm sorry, this is, it didn't work the second time. You overacted, you overacted. I overacted. You wanna throw it away. But they are Here, throw, I'll do it, I'll do it. They're throwing hands, they're throwing hands. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's someone riding your ass right now. And then I like floored it. Hold on, don't you know that we're working? This is my office. This is our office. This is where we work. We are working. We're working! Was that better? No, I feel like I was a little affected as well. <laughs> Back to one. Chris? No, we cannot do it again. Is someone riding your ass right now? Oh my God. I guess I am going 10 under the speed limit. But we're working. This is our office. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that was better. <laughs> okay. No one's gonna make our movie. Where? <laughs> they're gonna see that and they're gonna be like, we're so glad we left them on red. Okay, wait till we get to a lower speed limit road. Uh, do you wanna feel my eye bump? Because Absolutely it's... not. Stop! Just touch it. Stop! Why are you being such a bitch? Because I'm in an office. I'm in a moving office, Lizzie. I, I would touch People it. People already hate me behind me! If you had an eye lump, I would touch it in your moving office. Are the office. construction workers still here? They were. Where? Down the street? Uh, Just feel my eye bump. No, like, I'm saying these... Yeah, here's one. I, you know, okay. I don't want to make jokes of the situation that's going on, but I've never seen more attractive sign holders in my life. Oh, you're turned on by these guys? It's gotta be related to this sag after strike because <laughs> the men holding these like, stop your car. Wow. It's like they've just stepped out of a magazine. Wow. Didn't we talk Shepard about my on to see this? I've always found like the idea of a construction worker as like a fantasy, like quite sexy. <laughs> Are we gonna reverse the cat calling on them? <laughs> <laughs> on the construction workers? We hey, sexy. <laughs> Oh, they're not here It's today. not just your hat that's hard. <laughs> hey. Okay, wow. <laughs> it looks like they're nowhere to be found today. Ooh. Uh, Elizabeth. Drive that hammer Stop. into me. <laughs> <laughs> if these people don't turn, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm so sick of them being around me. Oh, God, they're turning. I'm We're working. Elizabeth. I'm screaming. You're driving me nuts. I'm driving you nuts. Yeah. I finally find the energy and you've had enough. <laughs> wow. This is crazy. And the craziest part is I wasn't even supposed to keep going straight. I just couldn't handle those people in my mobile oh, office. Oh no. Where are we going? Should we have ordered our IHOP already? Oh, you should call and do that. What's the deal? Uh, you Google IHOP, IHOP, which I know that's going to be hard for you to do. You're such a fucking bitch. <laughs> Am I? Yeah. I know you can't work your Google Maps. You also can't open Spotify. Lizzie's, I asked her, she was like demanding I play the Miley Cyrus song. What? 12 nuts? Wait, why is it 12 nuts? 12 miles. Fallbrook. Oh my god, I hate you. I told you she wouldn't be able to do this. <laughs> <laughs> and she can't work basic platform. What are you going to do when you have children? I was laughing on the way here about my friend's reaction. She's like, it just kills me that you still buy music. <laughs> what? <laughs> on Tulu Temecula Parkway. I, I, I bitch, I don't want to fucking do this. Have Chris do it. I have someone you. who knows how to do At it. At Fall Brook. <laughs> I still buy music too. Here, I have to pull over and do all of this. Yeah, this is not working. I put I, in, I hop at Fallbrook, well, and it comes up with shit that's eight here, days away. It's because God stepped in, and it's because we need <laughs> to do- You can't just pull over God in the road like this. In. This isn't the road. This is the road. You're in a turn lane. This is oh, where the you bus- are You are in the road, There's bro. There's a little fucking bike lane. Take a You're picture. not in the bike oh, lane. Oh my hell. Everyone's at school right now. The Who only doesn't people, make this okay? The only people that take this road are people that are going to school. <laughs> I just can't stand you sometimes. Chris, yes. help me. Help us. We're help us. Die. Help me. Chris and I are in a line. Okay. It's called the pumpkin spice combo. Great. Give me the I guess phone I can number. do this. Yeah, I don't what are you need doing? you. I, I don't need you anymore. Well, you probably need me to order because you can't order. Thank you for calling I out. You're Press welcome. Smile on your face. Mm -hmm. Press one to place a to go order. Press two to get connected to the restaurant. To continue in English, please press one. Start thinking. Are you fucking Instagram? Yeah. We're working. I'm just. I'm so done with you. You need to swap no, seats with Chris. I, I, I knew you were gonna play me. I just can't do this with you anymore. <laughs> Hell yeah. I hope this isn't gonna get us copyrighted. It's definitely. Oh hey. Hey, thanks for calling. I have uh, 221 Street. Thank you. First and last name here. Ryan Adams. Ryan. Ryan. And thank wrong. you very much. And you want to do the pickup or curbside for this location? Curbside, please. Could I get three pumpkin spice combos, please? And all with the pumpkin spice cold brew? Want to take my marker? Okay, got it. What, what kind of meat do you want here? 
Is sausage okay with everyone? It, it comes yeah. with it. So sausage for all three, and then sunny side up eggs. I would like mine over How would you like the eggs here? Can we get one over medium, but and like kind of overdone? And then for all three, can we get the pumpkin spice latte? Yeah, sure, we can do that. Okay. Pumpkin spice latte. After Elizabeth's rancid mood, we're back. <laughs> I think you should apologize to Chris and I for what we just experienced off camera. Are you joking? No. I literally just told you I'm having anxiety. So are we. So is everyone. You think anyone? So I not have to busy? apologize to you for my anxiety. Why don't if you're both having anxiety, why don't you apologize to me? We're not lashing out because I of didn't our lash out at fucking anybody. I literally told you I have anxiety, I and now you're lashing out at me. You're not even in the frame. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I don't think I was anxious until this. Yeah, can we drop you <laughs> off? <laughs> Please. Um, okay, where are we gonna call out sick from? Let's make you more anxious. Yeah, I'm not doing it. <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> like, are you kidding? You're the only one of us that can. After you berate me, after I tell you my feelings off it's... camera, you bring it to camera, and now you want me to do something that gets me hate on the internet? Are you really anxious? Are you I'm okay? producing it. I'm the one asking you to do it. Do you want to ask nicely? Yeah. Do you want to apologize for dragging my emotions onto the internet like this? No, I just wanted to say, like, Chris and I are also having a week. Okay, I'm so sorry. And we're not lashing mm. out. We're still showing up to work. I don't work. think I lashed out. And we're... <laughs> do you think I lashed out? <laughs> oh, I gotta get you a little more in frame. Okay, Elizabeth. Will yeah. you please call out sick from... The movie theater. Sure, but I don't know how we get in touch with the movie theater. Oh, I'll have to find it for you, because... I don't think you can get in touch with the movie theater anymore. What? Yeah, I feel like you can't... Like, you used to be able to call and get movie times and be like, to talk to somebody here, press the, this option, but I don't think that's an option anymore. Really? Yeah, times have changed. So, do you want to call out from... I don't know, will people hate it less if it's like Chick-fil-A or somewhere that's like Hated? problematic? <laughs> or should I call out from Sheen? <laughs> <laughs> um, call out sick from the Trump campaign. Just, just call anyone. Just call anyone. But you have to do it from my phone. Oh. So, the, oh, and remember the remember star six nine <laughs> that comes up in caller ideas, Ryan Adams. <laughs> Ryan, huge Ryan. fan. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm nervous. This is gonna make me sick. I'm gonna have instant diarrhea. <sighs> then why am I doing this? Because we have nothing else. Stupid. I'm sure we could think of something. There's a Jamba. <gasps> Jamba actually is doing pumpkin smoothies <gasps> too. <gasps> no Where did way. you see the Jamba? I'm There's a Jamba calling really out close. Jamba juice. Uh, oh my gosh, you're gonna call out a Jamba juice and then we're gonna rock into Jamba juice? Yeah. Okay. Wait, I love Jamba. We'll go apologize in person. We won't. <laughs> Have you guys had pumpkin flavored shit? Of course. Yeah. So you know it tastes you... a little bit like dookie? <gasps> no, I love pumpkin and everything. We did try the lattes last night They're on a Shane's. Pooey, huh? They taste acidic, like you mm. just breathed in perfume. I love it. Do you have glitter on your face? Yes, from my costume last night. Pretty boy. Thank you. Wow, whoever we're calling doesn't even care. Where are we going? <laughs> to Fallbrook Center. Doesn't it feel like we've been driving for days? Yeah, I kind of went the wrong way because my mobile oh, office no. was being bullied. <laughs> I was being threatened in my own place of work. How far out of the way did we just I go? didn't feel safe. And it took us 10, 20 minutes to order that food. Are they literally- Who are you calling? Jamba Juice. Oh, well, they don't like us. Nobody likes us. Wow, I know, it's apparent. This feels like high school all over again. Yeah, it does. Like, dr leaving the house because you don't want to be at home, but you have nowhere to be, so you're just, like, <laughs> leaving. I'm just going somewhere with my friends for no reason. Should we make Chris prank, da prank call my dad for oh, the time that my dad's friend prank called me? Okay, I, we've got to give up on this. <laughs> it's not working. Okay, who should I call out sick from next? <laughs> you should call, like, a telemarketer. People Target. that normally call you or something. Uh, <laughs> That'd yeah. be so funny. You're gonna call out a Target? Yeah. Yeah, they have the staff. <gasps> There's down the... Oh. Hmm. I guess our food won't be ready for a little bit. No, it's probably ready. It's IHOP. They said like 15 minutes, right? No, they right? said 11.15. Can you hear? No, I can't. I have an ear infection. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Thank you for calling. I mean, my ear is throbbing. Target store. For hours and location information, press 1. To reach a service <laughs> department, <laughs> press 2. To speak Are you to someone willing to pharmacy, go in? Press 3. 
Should we just speak to someone in the pharmacy? <laughs> You're gonna call out from the pharmacy? Yeah, That's like I mean, so it seems niche. like the only person I can talk to. Thank you for calling CVS Pharmacy, <laughs> located within Target, at 6635 Fallbrook Avenue, so West so Hills, California. Hear pharmacy hours or press six. We're never gonna be able to speak with the God damn you. Seven. Sorry. Or zero. No, just zero. Stop talking. It's voice automated. You're changing the person. It that feels like to. you want me dead. Because <laughs> I do right now. I'm trying to do what you're asking me to do. I just wish we could go back to being friends. <laughs> yeah, so be nice. I'll I get the job with you. I'll pay you back, Chris, but I don't have my wallet. I'll okay. pay you back. 35 Fallbrook Avenue, West Hills, California. If you're a healthcare provider or calling from a doctor's Shh. office, press <gasps> two now. Could you just call like Ross? One moment while I transfer you to someone who can help. Thank God. I'm sorry. <laughs> Our store is currently closed. <laughs> okay, the French store. I can't take it, Elizabeth. Okay, now you want me to call Ross? No, I just want you to call anywhere that will answer. You said Ross five oh, seconds ago. Why would you say no to me after you say Ross? Could you just call like Ross? One moment. Home goods. That seems like a good one. Oh my gosh, I called with my number. Yeah, God bless you. Do it yourself. Okay, well then I need your help. Oh. You're gonna Should we kiss and make up? You just have to be nice to me. <laughs> now you know how it feels. Today's podcast is sponsored by DoorDash and back to school season is here and so is all of the stress that comes with it. But with DoorDash, you can be first day ready with pantry staples and classroom supplies to make a good first impression without the stress. With DoorDash, you'll enjoy next level convenience with delivery in the hour, making it easier than ever to get back to school needs fast. All of your favorite retail, grocery, and convenience stores are on the app so you can shop anything and everything your kids need for back to school. You'll fill their backpacks, their bellies, and the pantry for this back to school season. And I'm talking stock up on everything. On the go breakfasts, lunchbox staples, and all the brands they love. I of course use DoorDash for anything and everything, especially when life gets hectic. It's easy to open the app and cross something off your to-do list without having to run the errand yourself. So shop DoorDash to get everything you need for the back to school season delivered right to your door. Order now for stress-free back to school shopping. Use promo code SIP2023 to get 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $15 or more at convenience, grocery or retail stores on DoorDash. That's 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $15 or more using promo code SIP2023. Don't forget that's promo code SIP2023 for 50% off your next order. Terms apply. I hate that your apps aren't where my apps are. <laughs> Thank you for calling Home Goods. To speak with a store associate, press four. Thank you again. Home Goods, Jenny speaking. How may I help you? Hi, Jenny. Yes, how can I help you? I just keep going back and forth on this and I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, were, you, were they looking up an item for you or what was it? That was, it just doesn't to? seem like it's a good choice though. So I'm just uh -huh. trying to figure out if it's like the choice I should be making for myself, you know? Okay, uh-huh. So, okay. I know my boyfriend was there last week. Okay. And I know that he was taking pictures with another woman in the aisles. Uh -huh. And I'm wondering if, like, it was platonic or, like, the perspective of these photographs just looks like he feels some type of way for her. And I just want to know, like, what do you think about that? Oh, my gosh. Um, like, did oh you see God. him in there? Did you see a guy in there taking pictures of some girl in the floral department? No. No, the thing is, uh, I just, this is my first day back after a Where while, we... so I was not even here last week. Is there any way we could, like, look at security cameras? Because, like, I've been with this guy for, like, seven years. Mm -hmm. And I really thought I mean, that he was the one, and then I see these pictures, and you just feel like he's never taken my picture like that, you know? Uh -huh. It's, like, a okay. nice high angle, and it's well lit. And the florals are just like the perfect depth of field to be a little bit out of focus so it's not drawing attention away from her eyes. And I feel like my eyes have never been clear like that in the pictures that he takes of me. Mm -hmm. Let me hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I hate how this makes me feel. I thought you were just gonna ask her for advice like you needed a friend. 
I'm shit. I think you should have just been like, my boyfriend cheated on me. Do you think? I just went deep. Man, what do you want from me? I think we should stop this. I don't feel good. I think you should pivot 180 when she gets your manager. I don't think I can. When I'm you get your manager this on the phone. If I'm pregnant, this is bad for my pregnancy. Do you understand Okay, that? well stop. The amount of anxiety you I have. You just didn't follow the rules. I panicked. I'm in a bad state. <laughs> Okay, do we confess and say we're sorry? No. Do we, we ride the change our stories and say... You be the boyfriend now. Should I, well, You be the boyfriend now. I think we should change stories. You be the boyfriend no, but now. Hear me out. Okay. The manager comes on and I just say, this is Todd and I can't make it into it today. <laughs> just like completely switch. You just go to Todd? Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> I think you should be the boyfriend. I should be like, she, this girl's telling me she didn't see you there. Mm. Did you ask her to lie for me? For you? I think we should just hang up. Honestly, my body is shaking. Okay. This doesn't feel good. Mm. You should say sorry. <laughs> You're the boss. I don't feel right about this one. I don't either. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. It sounds insane what I'm saying though, right? Like there's no way that's real. Or was my acting really great? I mean, it was really great. If I'm I was dying. her, if, had I been her, I would have hung up on you. Could you feel my chest? Cause it's like, a... <laughs> I think we just hang up. At least we're not fighting anymore. Should we it, just... it broke the tension between us <laughs> and that's what we needed this you for. You know what, hang up. I hung up. Oh I couldn't God, do it that anymore. that awful. Okay, well. Don't make me do that again, please. I don't know, you guys. Do you, what do you think? Let us uh, know. Don't let us know. Oh my god, now you're setting me up to be torn down. I asked you to do it. You said dance, monkey, so I danced. <sighs> okay, we'll come back when Chris is coming. Wow, what a nightmare. <laughs> I hope it's okay. What? They had cute little sizes. Oh, so perfect! I thought we could all have oh, like, wow. Wow. Christopher! Good idea, Chris. Wow, I'm when glad. When you left, things got worse. <laughs> they got what? really bad. They got really Instead bad. of just calling out sick from work, I panicked. She was like, my boyfriend was cheating on me in Home Goods, and I know you were there. No. Yeah, she goes, I wasn't here, and I was like, what? Can we watch this again? But I don't least, remember. And, oh. and it was wild and oh. crazy, but it did break the tension between Lizzie so and we're I. we're friends again. And I think we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. <laughs> I'm glad you're going to be okay. <laughs> so these are called, what do you just catch pumpkin, what they're called? Pumpkin smash smoothies. Pumpkin smash smoothies. They're they some pumpkin say, like acai bowl things that look amazing. I think this is going to be disgusting. No. I think this is going to reunite us once again. I don't know about But that. you don't like pumpkin things. No. That's what I've learned. Yeah. Okay, Chris. Everyone cheers our cups. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> Pumpkin's what I give my dogs when they need to poop more. I hate it. Oh, I love it. Oh. oh. Wow, it's very pumpkin pureed. Yeah. I love it. I'm so glad. You yeah. know what? I like this better than I like the Starbucks like lattes because those taste like artificial. This, this is like real pumpkin. puree. Yeah, this is the kind of thing where if I drank another sip of it, I'd start gagging. Wait, you just hate pumpkin? It's not that I hate pumpkin. It's just this texture mixed with the flavor and the sweetness. If I think about it too much, I could puke. Can I tell you, it does taste as though they just dumped a can of pumpkin puree yeah. with a little bit of vanilla ice cream. It's definitely like this is what should go in a cake or a, what's it called a pumpkin pie. Mm. Yes, it tastes like a pumpkin pie. Did That's you catch it if like. it's mixed with ice cream? Like if there was ice cream. Oh, so this is not like a healthy smoothie. Mm -mm. I don't this think a, a lot dessert. of the smoothies there are healthy, but they no. get you with the word smoothie. Yeah, it's, it's really only like apple and greens. It, <laughs> it's like the one and only healthy one. <laughs> it is like a misconception that Jamba Juice is healthy. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to expose anybody. <laughs> But I'm just saying. But apple and greens is healthy. Is, is it? it? Yeah, all the ingredients are like apples and kale and like, you know. Pretty good. I do love it. I don't think I could finish something bigger than this size. Yeah, good call, Chris. But I am obsessed with it. <laughs> do you want mine, Chris? Because you're almost done with yours. How am I going to get into the turn lane from here? Who could ever really say? Wow. I'm going to have you, to go lady. pee and I hop. Is that cool with everyone? Mm, I love this so much. It's delicious. It actually tastes like pumpkin, which is the good thing. Yeah. If you were a pumpkin person, I think you'd be into it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and if you hate pumpkin, this is going to be your nightmare. Yeah. I don't hate pumpkin, but I do feel like the pumpkin craze, like there's a time and a place for pumpkin. Mm. And it's right now in this car. I don't know about <laughs> that. <laughs> I do. I'm very confident. You guys um, want to go see my dog's vet? No. They're right there. I do want to get into this turn lane, but I guess that's just not in the cards for me. 
Mm -mm, not wow, today. It's so good. What if he just flipped it right there? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna make. I this could work see for you psychotically us. just doing that too. I'm a good driver. Oh my god! Like what I'm doing oh right now. Oh god! Okay, so I did want to talk about something your husband did that made me made me whoa hate my husband. Oh yeah. Oh, so my husband did something that's gonna make you hate him too. Uh -huh. What? I'll tell you after you tell me yours. Uh -huh. Well, I just couldn't believe Lizzie sent me a pic. Like we were texting a lot of times. Lizzie and I will text at like 7 a.m. Yeah. I don't know why we're like wake up sisters. 7 a.m. Waking up in the morning. There always seems like after a night of sleep, there's something we need to tell each other. <laughs> and she just like sent me a picture of like her morning tea station. And Joe had beautifully placed out what he knows that she'll need in the morning with a note that said, hi, Barbie, love Ken or something. Yeah. And I was just like, what the fuck? He's a good man. Wow. First, I thought this man had woken up before you to oh, set no, that up, and you're like, oh, no, no, no. He just did it before he went to bed. Yeah. And I was like, what's stopping Shane from ever having done this to no, me literally before? Literally, the one to. <laughs> because I've if always... If he wanted to, he would. And I've always <laughs> fantasized, like, you know those husbands, those wives that are like, my husband brings me coffee in bed every morning. Yeah. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Some, if he wanted to, he would, sister girl. And that really hurts my feelings. I'm really no. sorry. <laughs> so, uh, 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 sorry. Um, so now do you want to hate Joe? I already do. Uh, do no. you want me to tell you why you're going to hate him? Yeah. So we talked last night. And he does not want me to tell people I'm pregnant until we get the 20 week anatomy scan. And he felt very strongly about it. And I'm going to try to keep my mouth shut. I mean, but like people being me or the internet? Everyone. There's no way. I know. I said, I said, baby, no way. I said, baby, I will try my hardest. When we find out I'm pregnant, I will try my hardest to keep my mouth shut for as long as I can. Because I do think it would be fun, but you have to go bananas with me over the stages of the pregnancy. Lizzie has already <laughs> planned, like, how she's going to tell me she's pregnant, even though I feel like I'm getting pregnant with her. And <laughs> she's already trying to tell me how she's going to tell me that she's pregnant. And I'm like, leave something up for a surprise. So I know the second you take the test, after you tell Joe, of course, you're going to tell me. Lizzie already told try. me she's pregnant. I know. Here's the thing. <laughs> I'm not. I know. So, I mean, we can't prove that you're not. I mean, it feels like it's been perfect. I mean, I don't think it has though. You have to wait a certain amount of time. Right. We'll keep waiting. We'll and keep, then keep guess waiting. what? We're gonna wait another twenty weeks. <laughs> Which have you done the math on that? It's a lot. That's five months, homie. I know. I've just been through it. I'm That's at, crazy. We're gonna be twenty two weeks tomorrow. <gasps> Why do they say like, what? like that? That's I, of you're just that far. It felt like we were in the home stretch. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying, Chris? Why do people say by weeks instead of months? That seems so much easier. I couldn't tell you, but now that I'm pregnant... <laughs> I think it's pregnant, because the development goes so quickly uh, that they do, do they measure it by weeks. Now that I'm a pregnant woman, I understand, though. I know. <laughs> you know. Um, what size are the boys' bananas? Right now, they're bananas. Tomorrow, it will change, but I never look ahead because I like to have something... Tomorrow, it changes? Oh, we're in movie time. Uh, <laughs> I always like to have something to look forward to. Where's IHOP? I don't know, dude. But there's I, a Red Lobster. I it? swear it looked like it was over here. Do you know where we're going? Absolutely not. I, I hate you. I'm here all the time. Uh, where is it, Chris? Yeah, Chris, I, where the fuck is it? I don't know IHOP, but I love that Korean barbecue, and I go to that theater all the time. I've been to that Trader Joe's a bunch. No, no, it that says like it's IHOP. right here. <laughs> I beg to differ. Is it on the other side of Jinkies? Maybe. I didn't Bro, even know I have got to pay pay. Um... And see, <gasps> there's a red lobster, Lizzie. It would, I know, I love red lobster. Oh my gosh, you guys need to find a divorce friend and hit it up yourselves. <laughs> Honestly, probably not that hard. We know someone. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> but it does confuse me once the babies are over a year that they're still hanging on to the 14 month, 13 yeah. month. And it's like, can't you just say a year and a few months? She's just yeah, over a year. Because it's like, then, oh, there's IHOP. That, that, oh! I'm going to go pay pay. Um. I didn't know this Where do we park to get our thing? Where do we go from here? Listen, I'm gonna go potty. You guys park. Enjoy yourselves. I'll catch you on the flip. <laughs> I'm in the middle of the road. Oh, like <laughs> you wouldn't? Gosh. I think I hate her today. <laughs> she has anxiety. <laughs> so does everyone. It's not an excuse. Oh, this guy hates you. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. Oh, wow. <laughs> See what Lizzie did to me? This is her fault too. Wow. Okay. Wow, I can't believe she did this to you. To you. Oh man, I should not be in public. 
It is stressful. <laughs> Being home is easier. Okay, let's see. There's a lot of trucks out here. It feels like Bakersfield. <clears throat> oh, that's... I feel like Fallbrook is Bakersfield. <laughs> Is that shady? Oh, right. yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, let me see how we can get this food. I've never been to Bakersfield, just to let everyone know. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, she's coming oh, to you. She's coming yeah. to you. She's coming to you. Hello. Yes, thank you very That's much. Right. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You too. Thank you, Ryan. Oh, thank God we got the 32 ounce because I was worried that the 16 wouldn't be enough. Oh my God, those are huge. Mm-hmm. Those are huge. I don't know that we needed them that big. You guys, no. fucking chill out. If I hear one more comment about how big the coffees are, I'm finding new friends. Can I just tell you that no. I'm still so anxious I could barely walk in there to go pee. And is that what my your problem feel like was? Jello. What? <laughs> you mean you? Okay. It's one take four. Wow, they do have cinnamon on top and everything. Let me get a little B-roll of this. The foam looks like Here's a tiny bit of whipped cream for you, Chris. Oh, thank you. It does look kind of just like a, a, like a Coke or like a root beer float. It looks delicious. I gave you some whipped cream too, Ryland, but you got the nasty one. That's fine. Can everyone try their pumpkin spice lattes first? Yes. Yeah. Here you go, Thank Christopher. You. I'm still excited. I, lo I oh. love pumpkin everything. I'm a ba I'm basic. <laughs> All right. Three, two, cheers. Yucky. Mm. It tastes like nothing, right? It's there, yucky. It's like mm. really watered down black coffee mm. with like... I don't know what I can get the That's yucky. I I genuinely believe with all my heart it's their hot black drip coffee and they poured it over ice and added a pump of like <laughs> what could be pumpkin creamer. Wow, this is h horrible. It's really not very sweet even, right? No. It's <laughs> yucky. It tastes like dirt. <laughs> I drink black coffee so it's like fine. Yeah. I really think it's like unsweetened. I think it's skinny. <laughs> Wow, I'm so sorry. I appreciate it, but this is not tasty. Ooh, they gave us all little mints, yeah. too. Wow, this is so fun having like a proper Thank meal you. mukbang in the car. They gave us ketchup over like the hash browns. <laughs> I think first we should all try the pumpkin pancake because that's really what is pumpkin. Also, these eggs are not well done and these hash browns ain't crispy. Well, you're gonna have to live with it. Is there enough? Uh, syrup for everybody? Yes, we each yeah. get, we are eat, we've been allotted a syrup each. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is wild. <laughs> Just, this is fucking crazy. <laughs> you can't tell me that you don't think these... You guys, the government has confirmed aliens' existence and look at this fucking pancake. No, I'm saying the packaging is really cool. <laughs> the way that they're separating this. You're gonna yeah. look back on this and realize how I mean you've been, I'm and you're gonna feel bad. It. It's me. Oh, I'm no. the problem. Oh no! Wow, I, my eggs are perfect. Oh yeah, my yolk! Wow, is your leaking. your hash browns are I crispy. Cut it, well, and my eggs are delicious. Look at my hash browns. We're doing pancakes first. Look at we my are. hash browns. Um. Well, then you can have some of mine. Thank you. Oh, you're just raw dogging it first. Yeah, I guess. Okay, let's all take a bite of it raw. Uh, Just I already, to get. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here, raw dog mine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> There's a piece at the bottom in this here. Mm. Of all of the things that have pumpkin in it, this one makes the most sense. Mm. Wow. I love a pancake. Yeah. And I love, love, love a pumpkin pancake. Here's the thing I love eggs and sausage and hash browns. Okay. Mmm. I need a bit of sticks. Really? Why so low? Because it's not that great. <laughs> Just not, you know, it's high hop quality, you know? <laughs> wow. Where do you find better pancakes? CC's. What's CC's? You haven't been to CC's? Should we go right now? It's incre It's the best pancakes ever. They're incredible. You guys are harsh critics. <laughs> wow. With the syrup, the pumpkin's even more... Pumpkining? Um, pronounced. 
Wow, it's weird that you can taste the flavors more. I mean, it's <sighs> good. And it's, it's good. I didn't mean six. Like it's not horrible. Not like a two. Uh, no, you're allowed to think what you want. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> shaming your your rating of it. I feel it. bad. I'm like, am I being too harsh? <laughs> On IHOP, I think that'll be just fine. Yeah. <laughs> like if anyone's gonna survive a food review, it's IHOP. Yeah, true. What's the caliber of your hash browns, Chris? Mm. I didn't try. I mean, I'm gonna eat them, all the pancakes, you know. So they're they're not bad. Mm. They're just not great. <laughs> I could like, listen to Chris review these pancakes in a nice way for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, no. Go I back. I because I said his review might be a little mean, he's going to dream about how he's been mean to IHOP. I really am. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad. Like, if there was a personality contest, that IHOP pancake would win. Because <laughs> I, think, I think what it lacks in flavor makes up for it. Charisma and Uniqueness and talent. <laughs> It is underrated though. Like I forget how good a classic breakfast is. Yeah. Hash browns, egg, sausage, and pancakes. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am gonna be thirsty though. <laughs> well, good thing we have these pumpkin spice lattes. I cannot take another sip of that. <laughs> oh. Do you think they'd bring me an apple juice? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to wait three hours and pay over the phone, <laughs> my credit card number. Yeah. Oh. This is something I wanted to bring back up. If you had seen a recent vlog, Lizzie and I, I would say this was our first like sleepover that wasn't at a hotel in a long time. Like you spent the night at my house mm -hmm. and we shared a bed together mm -hmm. and she was dragging me for not having uh, we're gonna a talk top about sheet. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm saying because now that the video went live, a lot of people are weighing in on the uses for a top sheet, right. which I didn't previously understand. And so now like, they're saying top sheets are for making spooky ghost costumes. Some have said that. Some have said they use the top sheets, they save them and use them to put on the floor when they paint their walls. And I was like, that's a life hack that I needed to know. Right. Um, Chris, do you use a top sheet? So there's the fitted sheet, and then there's that pointless sheet, and then there's your comforter. What's the top sheet? Wow. Oh, okay. Chris doesn't use it. <laughs> Wait, is it the sheet underneath the comforter? Yeah. The yeah. useless one. Yes. No. You don't use a top sheet? Who would? Oh, I hate See, them. people who fuck in their bed all the time mm -hmm. doing butt stuff should probably use but a top I, sheet. I, but no. I wash the... Because so, it's to keep the comforter cleaner. Well, so that's what the, all the interior designers that watch were like, oh, it's so that you can wash that instead of washing your duvet and your du like your duvet cover because that's a lot more work to get off. But I was like, do you guys not have husbands? Because my husband kicks that pointless sheet to the bottom and then the the one like the duvet cover is getting dirty anyways. And I pull the duvet cover over my face because Shane keeps the room at 63 degrees at night. Mm -hmm. So like I have to wash it anyways. And I'm if I'm going to wash bedding, I'm just going to wash bedding. It's right. like I'm not yeah. going to like be picky and choosy about what I'm washing. Listen. And I do it once a week. But there was one other use. People did say, oh, I like the top sheet because I throw the comforter down That's my and husband. I sleep hot. So it's nice to just have something over me, but it doesn't make me hot. That's my husband. He only sleeps with the top sheet. Oh, I don't even like how it feels. It feels oh. like rough and not nice. Like, what kind of bed sheets do you have? Well, I just bought like, I don't even have like a normal comforter. I just have like a super soft, fluffy thing I got at Costco. Mm -hmm. And that's all there is on top. Got it. And it's so soft and it's so nice. <laughs> but I throw that whole thing in the wash like every week, you know? Wow. wow. Even though I hate fall, I am so about the pumpkin menu items. Mm. <laughs> you love pancakes. Thank mm. you for breakfast. This You're welcome. Nice. You don't love pumpkin. I'm starting to think you're kind of crazy. I don't love pancakes is really what the thing is. What's wrong with you? Oh, you gotta try a juicy pancake. I'm not a pancake girl. Mm. I've never been a pancake gal. What about a waffle? I fuck with a waffle. <gasps> What's the difference? Big difference. What? Yeah. They're just more like crispy, I guess because you're like crisp. Like crisp and light. Mm -hmm. And a cake's like dense and flat, soggy. What about a souffle, those super fluffy tall ones? I've never had one, I don't think. Me we gotta go to CZ. What is the CZ's you keep discussing? <laughs> yeah. so is it nationwide or is it like no. local? Is it on your side? There's like only one or two of them and they're incredible. Well, I'm glad we could all have this bonding experience together. <laughs> now that we're eating together, I feel like I like you guys a little bit more. Oh, thank God. So mm -hmm. you were just hangry? <laughs> I think I was hangry. I think I was annoyed. I just tried to push my glasses up because I was like, oh, I can't see as good. And it's not the best that we do podcasts on Monday because it does give me like the Sunday scaries. Mm -hmm. And like, I like our podcast. I like filming our podcast, mm -hmm. but like it gives me the Sunday scaries. It's a stressful event for mm -hmm. sure. Okay. Absolutely. I'll take one more bite. Oh, what happened to you in there? I just went pee pee. 
I know, but you said like something crazy happened. No, I said I have so much anxiety, my legs feel like jello when I walked in there. I could barely walk. Oh, and so why is that? Funny. Well, phone call didn't help. Home Goods phone call <laughs> no. definitely didn't help. My heart was racing. Um, Are you better yeah. now? No. I'm sorry. Thank you. See, Chris gets it. Okay. Um, do you want to do some? Advice, them. <laughs> I was honestly asking. Yeah, no, I think we should. Uh, I do want to drive to Dairy Queen. I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> this is for me. <laughs> <laughs> you have a fork in your lap. Don't tell me how to eat. Watching that egg <laughs> smack between your teeth and your mouth makes me violently ill. <laughs> it makes them ill too. Whatever. Get over it. Do you want me to read any of these while we go to Dairy Queen? Are we really going to Dairy Queen? It's so hot. If we go to Dairy Queen, can I get a different ice cream? No. Please. I mean, you can get whatever you want additionally. Okay. Yeah. Do whatever you want. Oh. <gasps> oh Come calm on. down there. I really like the term Sunday scary. <laughs> You don't, you ever heard that? No. Oh yeah, it's a real thing. From hold the on, hold on. Shane. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, we're going to Northridge because fucking California doesn't have Dairy Queens, and Dairy Queen wouldn't even answer their phone to let me know if they're carrying the pumpkin spice blizzard. Okay, and action. Go, oh, Chris. You know, the first time I was ever in Northridge was to film something with Shane. What were you filming with Shane? It was a Kesha music video parody. Oh, you know who loves Kesha? Who? Janelle Evans from Teen Mom OG. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, bit number two. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna take it seamlessly from Kesha. Might be. Okay, say I was say it again, and it's you know take yeah, it from Kesha. Throw it okay, away. So okay. From the Shane bit. Yeah. Oh, you know the the first time I was in, you know the first time I was ever in Northridge was to film a video with Shane. What were you filming? A Kesha music video parody. You know who loves Kesha, right? No, it's pronounced. No, Kesha that was is about pronounced. mariachi. Oh. The next bit, it's bit number two. No, I was trying to cut. Oh, cut. you don't want to do the mariachi. I was bit. gonna cut some you meat just want, from you the story. You want a hybrid. I want. I got it. He's made an edit. We're on the same page now. Back to one, Chris. <laughs> That's stupid. What do we do? So, okay, but you want me to kill say... Janelle? Ned, did you want me to kill Janelle entirely? Just say... we're, we're changing it. Stop! I got it. No, I know. I know. I know. And action. It was a Kesha parody. Go. Uh, the other person I was ever out in North or just to film a video with Shane. Oh, what was the video about? It was a Kesha music video parody. It's pronounced time. <laughs> it's better the other way. <laughs> just so you know, the two bits I thought were more valuable than the It one. doesn't matter. You can say <laughs> any artist in the world and Lizzie will say it's pronounced time. And I'm like, Lizzie. Who is Heim? Why is Lizzie? What is Heim is a band Taylor Swift no, is trying to make. No, Heim is a band that has value in their own right. I'm They're not saying they don't have value. I'm just saying Taylor is trying to objectively make them happy. No, Heim is a thing on their own. Who Taylor is? Heim's like fetch. Like it's like it's no, like Heim's not like that. And so every time I say Heim, I don't. I'm not even sure if Lizzie knows if it's Heim or Haim. It's pronounced Heim. And like Heim. I can say it either way, and Lizzie will say, "I'll say it's pronounced Heim," and she'll say, "You know it's Haim." <laughs> or I'll say, it's, I'll say, hey, and she'll be like, you know, it's time. No, every time, no matter what you say, I say it's pronounced time. Even Are you, you even sure right. that's what it is? Yes, like Laheim. It's pronounced time. Yeah. Oh, like Laheim. Yeah. Cute. Well, and that's all we can talk about because they, they're sick of us talking about Taylor Swift. Oh, we weren't, we weren't talking about Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't about Taylor. Just it's so pronounced you know. time. Well, we hear you loud and clear. And <laughs> <laughs> we're on a Taylor hiatus from you for at least three episodes. So but how cute this. is the Mexican heiress content? Oh, that's Taylor Swift. Um, and I will say, oh cute. fuck, you're gonna get me all no, wired up. No, 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 don't get wired up. <laughs> okay, it's about no. Sabrina Carpenter. It's not about Taylor, it's about okay. Sabrina. Okay. And everyone the, everyone showed up for Sabrina because Sabrina is like, oh. And so I just am baffled that I was not able to see Sabrina because that is what would have gotten me to the concert early. Right. And. Of course, Selena Gomez comes out. Yeah. Not in her hometown. Night one of the I tour. flew to LA to get a guest and mm -hmm. didn't get a guest. So we have to go to Mexico. Yeah, exactly. I've been asking. I've been trying to book it. <laughs> well, I found a three day cruise to Mexico. But we can't talk about it publicly because they're sick oh, of Taylor. Oh, yeah, they're I've sick of us. I've never been on a cruise. Oh my God, do you want to go? It's really cheap. Oh, uh, Lizzie's it. trying to find anyone to go on a cruise with her. It's and under I told $400. her, my, I love let's go. Bitch, it's under four hundred dollars. But my Let's husband go. won't let me cruise it's before I have days. children. It's a boat. Do you know bad shit happens on boats? Not on cruises like that to people like us. 
because we're not risk takers. We're not going to be doing stupid stuff. And like... you're sober, so you're not just like falling off deck. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But I'll have what? one glass of white wine and you might not be able to find me. <laughs> you smell a glass of white wine and we're going to be in our indoor cabin. We're not even going to have a balcony. We're going to have an insulated cabin that has no windows and we're just going to fall asleep in bed together watching gay shit. I was saying, you're gonna have to put me on a leash like those moms with the crazy kids. And I'm not above that. Whew, okay, well, we'll be cruising soon. Don't just say that. I'm so serious. Do you want me to book it? No. Why also, not? my favorite vlog you've ever made was the one in Mexico, so obviously. Oh, the drunk, yeah. It's so good. Let's go on a cruise. We, okay, the, honestly, the cruise I want to take you on doesn't take us to Mexico, but I wasn't gonna tell you that until we were on the cruise. <laughs> we're going to the Caribbean, baby! In tornado season? Or <laughs> no, whenever we're just go. season. Let's go, come on. Okay, we've got to turn on it's the air again. It's three nights. Okay, let's talk about it later. <laughs> hey guys, hey. we're in a gutter in Northridge. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful here. I don't know what you're it's, talking it's about. It's beautiful. We there are... might be a snake back here, Stop. but that's fine. Yeah. Uh, Dairy Queen, unfortunately, was closed. Close. Literally for like only 10 days for a remodel. And These I'm like, of course, of course, of <laughs> course, the 10 days we go. So we did stop at the Starbucks inside of there and we got the iced shaken apple espresso, which is new and the pumpkin cold foam cold brew. And the pumpkin cream cheese muffin. And we don't all want to share the same terms. So let's just take this off. You sure? Yeah. I okay. So let's, germs. I think that shaken apple espresso is new. Is it called an espresso or an espresso? <laughs> wow. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I know what an espresso is. Oh wow, that's what you get. That's karma. That's <laughs> fucking karma. If you've ever heard of it. I don't like it. Maybe the good stuff's at the bottom. I don't it need is. It. It's definitely at the bottom and it we don't have a it. straw. Shake it. Put your finger in. Do you in have it. the fist it? Do I have the lid? This is what we call shaking the espresso. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it up. Okay. Feed me. Oh, that's a lot different. Still not something I would particularly I order. I would love it. Do you want me to try this muffin? Do you not want to try it? I'm okay. <laughs> you don't want to try it? He said he's a germaphobe. A little bit. All right, that's fine. Is it fine. because I have COVID all the time? No. Yes. You can tell me. No. It's personal. It's okay, so sorry. this is the pumpkin cream cold foam thing. I appreciate you offering it, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I like this because I like cold brew and it's just like subtle sweetness at the top. Well, you got all cold foam. Well, you like it. I know you do. It's making me want to go back to La La's. What's La La? La La Land? Oh yeah, it's a coffee shop in Calabasas. Mm. Are you gonna break Chris off a piece of that or have you already mauled it with your hands? I've had that before. I wanted that for Lizzie. I feel like there's something on my face. Honestly, this goes. Well, of course it goes. All of their pastries go. Oh. But that one's like, especially. This one's lit. Mm. Honestly, I would say skip the pancakes at IHOP and just get this at Starbucks and it's the same thing but more flavorful. Saving this for you, Chris. Mm. Thank you. He doesn't want it after you went he like doesn't. that. He does I didn't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're sorry that we didn't get Dairy Queen for you. If you guys come to Colorado where there's Dairy Queens on every corner, we'll hit up the pumpkin blizzard. Blizzard. Well, I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Thank yeah. you for watching our podcast. Mm -hmm. We love you very much. Subscribe to all of our channels. Follow us on Instagram. And let us know what you want us to try next. Yeah. We love you very much. Goodbye. And, and that's, that's the sit. <laughs> Why'd you choose the disgusting drink? Something happened to me when I did it. <laughs>